Welcome to Real Magic Review, my name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm going to be reviewing ABC by Spidey. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe and check out cardmagiccourse.com. That's my online card magic course, which is being developed in the new year quite significantly. So it'll be a very good time for you to sign up for that. Cardmagiccourse.com. You get live sessions every week, guest lecturers. We had Fanique last week. We've had Peter Wardell. We've had Vinny Sagu, and we're going to have loads more in the new year. Uh, so it's all very, very exciting to get all that with your membership. So cardmagiccourse.com. And I just counted them up. 500 videos on there now, which is preposterous because we upload all the, um, all the live stuff. So every week you get about an hour to an hour and a half of me waffling on or someone else or us. Um, and you can learn loads from that, but um, way more than card magic. So 500. Yeah. So I had to cut it there because I was, went off on a big waffle about it because we got all excited. <laughs> uh, right. So... This is, I, I got this from Murphy's, and thank you to Murphy's Magic. So it's lovely when, when, when you get sent stuff. We've been getting something from, I don't mean there's that much being bought out, and, um, and I started getting stuff again, which is lovely. So I very much appreciate that. And I saw this, and opened, I didn't really look, I looked at all the stuff, and I kind of just looked at it. I opened it up because it had a lovely bit of packaging, and I saw that. And I saw, like, a set of kids' flashcards. And I kind of went, mm. You know, part of me, because it looked like a kind of kiddie trick. It looked like, and I didn't know who it was by. I didn't really look at the, I just sort of opened them up and see what's in there. And I thought, is it just like a card trick with flashcards? It's something. And then I saw Spidey's name on it. And I went, oh, right. Because Spidey knows his stuff. And, and uh, I like, Spidey's always one of those people when you see downloads of other tricks, they go, they always say, oh, Spidey came up with this idea. And I, I didn't know his stuff very much, but I thought, it doesn't bring out loads and loads, so it's worth looking at. And then I opened them up and, and you get these, these flashcards, um, and I couldn't see, I was thinking marked cards, right, that's what I was thinking, okay, it's a marked flashcard, no, nothing there, and then I read the, the copy, and it said about a secret, that's sort of hidden in plain sight, or the, at the beginning of the, the download, or something like that, and I was like, no, nope, can't see it, and then he did this thing, going, right, lay them all, he laid them all out, and goes, right, can you see the secret, and I still couldn't see it, and then it's really, I really like liked it from that point onwards, I kind of went, you can see I started smiling, I, because it is a really simple thing, but but there's a lot you can do with it. So what do you get? You get it's this is the, as he says a utility device really. It's uh, it's you can do loads of stuff you can do with your existing cards. You can do kind of stuff that you could do with a mem deck, but it's a lot easier. And he's got six, I think six specific routines on here. But but once you get to know how to do this, you'll be like, oh, right, I could do that, 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 and that. And he says you can do do as I do tricks with it, but they feel very different, and that's the point. So his motivation of with this was as a mentalist. He's saying, well, he, he kind of sees playing cards as being borrowed from magic. He said, mentalists borrow. And I know that some people might say, well, mentalists have been doing magic um, stuff with playing cards for years. I know they have, but he says he wanted to come up with something that, that felt like mentalism purely. And he says, when, when you get a pack of cards out, people just automatically think magic. And they do, don't they? Or they think card games, but they do. If you're a magician, you get cards out, it's magic. So he wanted to stop that. Now, you could argue that they are still cards in their card shape, but the, the minute people see them, they think of something else. Their mind goes somewhere else, I think. You know, the minute they see that, it's this lovely, colourful box. You know, he's a, I got them at Walmart. They're just kind of flashcards for kids learning. And there's loads of stories you can tell nostalgic stories about learning and they are quite nostalgic they're quite cool so the routines you get are that they they start off easy and get more and more difficult none of them are very difficult and I would argue that actually the easier ones are, are, are basically going through like this and going right so when you see a picture that means something to you say stop so automatically you've got this thing it's not just say stop at the random thing I'm going to guess where you stopped it's you're going to see something that means something to you. So straight away, you've got something to play with there that isn't just, I'm going to guess your card. Now, I know that we do that sometimes with card magic. We say, you know, what's your favourite card? But it can't, always feels a bit weird because nobody's really got a favourite card, have they, really? I mean, they kind of go, oh, I don't know, like seven, I don't know, Queen of Arts. And so it, straight away, you've got a picture of something that means something to you so that they could choose something that you can all, you can ask questions about, you can do readings about, which he does. It gives you more depth to what you're doing so even though these are kind of fun looking things there's a kind of seriousness to it where you can go okay I can I can 
talk to this person maybe about their childhood because the point is you're going to know the card because of this secret that they stopped on but they chose it and i really really like that and that's the most simple thing you can do with it have a look at one choose one or there's one where you lay all the cards out and you kind of feel for what one it might be and you talk to them about the card as you're doing it and then and for that one you're going to have to do a little bit of work now when you get this you're going to look at it and he's going to tell you the secret and you're going to be like oh, i've got to remember that you really haven't and he says you can learn it in five minutes and i know a lot of people say that it's like people that say you can learn a full mem deck in like 24 hours no you can't i don't care who says it you might kind of know it a bit but it takes a long time to get that properly down so you don't have to think about it but with this it's he actually takes two lay people and he says look we've given it they've had 10 minutes i think he gives them and he goes through it and they've learned it and then he does it with uh, javier uh, on, i think it's javier on the um download and he does it now he's a magician so you might argue that he's better at that kind of thing which i actually don't think is, is the case um but actually it was really quick there's something very intuitive about this you think you've got to remember loads of stuff and then when you do it you go no it kind of makes sense now to get it really down and quick i do think you need more than that but you're going to get most of it and actually there's a couple of routines where you don't have to remember the sequence or anything like that because there's stuff built into the trick where it helps you out with that and actually there's some super easy versions where you get a crib as well so that's that's really cool so and you can do that in plain sight you've got the crib right there it's not like you've got a peek off um, and see it and there are things using peaks and things like that there's a there's a lot to this so it's way 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 more than meets the eye and i'm finding this with a lot of stuff like i talked about iris the other day you get this thing you go, oh, and then and then we make a judgment and actually it's the the stuff that's coming out that looks the least impressive at the moment i think is the most impressive there's some stuff that looks really good and you get it and you go it's kind of not much i can do with it but with this i think it's it's great so the more complex routines you are going to have to put a bit more work in, but not much. My, what I've done is I've just carried these around with me for a couple of days, got them out and looked at them every now and then. I've really enjoyed that process, and, and it's just in there now. I can do the trick. So the final trick, the one that I like, well, I like it the most, but kind of not as well, is where you get two people to... Uh, you, you get people, because they can cut the pack, anybody can cut the pack as, as much as you want. You get one person to cut some and hold it against themselves and look at where they've cut to. The other person cut one and look where they've cut to. And from that point, you say to this person, right, look at yours, shuffle it into the pack and you spread them all out and you get their card. And for this one, you say, keep hold of it and you do a drawing duplication of what they're holding and looking at. Which again, they've cut, you know, you emphasize this, they've cut out your hands. There's no way of looking, there's nothing on here to look at. You don't have to look at that. And you get these two cards. And again, you can do these readings and these, these pictures. I think it's really good. And the download, I would say this isn't for beginners, but the download is so thorough. He goes through everything. He goes through, really, he's a great teacher and he teaches, and a very engaging one, because it's a long download, this. It's like an hour and a half or something like that. But I think it was more. Um, or it might be a bit less. Don't quote me on that. But it was a long one. You look at it, it's one that I look at and go, oh. but actually he's really engaging all the way through it and I really like the download. What he does is he takes you through the workings in detail he really for people like me even tells you if you're doing a drawing duplication how to draw each one and he talks about how to deal with people that want to shuffle the cards what happens if they shuffle the cards and he's this whole thing with techniques with peaks with shuffles with cuts you can use it's really thorough it's like a master class with this deck and i like the way people are doing this now because you could take this i think as a complete novice a complete beginner and learn these routines and have something really special. So on the plus side, I, th I would say it's easy. If you've got memory issues or anything like that, then you, there is memory work involved. But again, there's cribs if, you, if you're gonna struggle with that. But I think you're gonna want to learn it to, to give it its strength. And uh, it feels different. It does feel different. Yes, it's cards, but they feel and look different. There's all this stuff you can do that I've talked about around it that you can do with cards, but this seems to be a little bit more kind of solid and have more meaning you can he talks about just how you can justify having them which is kind of easy as well you know you, you and or, or you don't have to justify it. he talks about this hostelin thing and going look just because i'm doing this because that's what i do because it's a it's in a context of a performance so i think it's great on the negative side the only thing i can think about really is that obviously not everything's for everybody you might look at this and go i don't really like those routines my feeling is most of you nobody's going to be disappointed i don't think when they buy it you do get 
you, you are going to be happy, I think, with what you get. If you watch the trailers, it's all very cool. Um, but I think for some people, they'd look a bit childish, don't they? They're, 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 if you're a very serious mentalist and you get these out, uh, it might not suit your performance style. Part of me does think there is a, a kind of place for a more adult version of this. You know, the kind of when they brought the Harry Potters out, you know, they're really childish and everybody started reading them. So they made like adult versions of them. So people on the, on the train and the subway could look at more adult reading them. Did, you know, they made the serious covers. Uh, with this, I think, that, you know, you could have people like people that are learning English, you'd flashcards, adults, and you could have more kind of adult looking ones and more serious looking ones. And I think that there's a, there's a place for that too. If you were learning as an adult, you would use more serious looking flashcards. So maybe there's a, a place for that. But I think it's great. I think it's really strong. The download's amazing. I think you'll enjoy working with it. And there's, like I said at the beginning, way more to this. Uh, I've had two days of, of, you know, from opening it up and going, oh, it's going to be a silly card trick to going, actually, there's so much in this. The concept's great. And that you'll see that there are quotes on the site. And I think they're very legitimate. I, you know, people with big names have said, yeah, this is really cool. And, uh, and I think it is. So, and I'm not a big name, but others are, so check them out. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. That is ABC. Uh, if, you, if you want to search, it's A-B-S-E-E. -E. That's how you do it, even though you'll see that below, so there's no point in me saying that whatsoever. By Spidey and Murphy's Magic. Thanks, Murphy's, for sending that to me. Please like and subscribe. Please check out Card Magic Course. Get your free spread cull download course, uh, cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull. And please share this if you like, because it would be really, really helpful. Take care. Bye-bye.